brought to you by wellnessplus.tv and made possible by the generous donations of Psyche Truth Patreon supporters. So my name is Natana. Today I'm going to be working on the neck muscles. I'm just showing a few techniques uh, to approach any issue going on with the neck. I'm going to grab some oil, start and client face up as you can see. I'm just going to apply a little bit of oil to the back of her neck and the side of her shoulders here. I'm just going to do some light traction. going to do some light stretching just to see the range of motion with her neck, where she's at. I actually have really good range of motion. Now that I checked the range of motion, I'm just going to go into the pectorals and the upper arms and I'm going to do some light stroking. Nothing too deep. I don't want to shock the upper body muscles as I'm doing my best to actually loosen them. And along the edge of that clavicle underneath. And wrapping in to the sides of the delt. And that clavicle connection. Just some light pressure in there. On top of that clavicle ridge, I'm just gonna lightly place my fingers. I'm just gonna hold, pressing into them, letting her do her breathing. I'm gonna walk my way towards the middle. Lightly holding those trigger points. Making my way back under the neck. Just gonna support her one hand. I'm going to go back down to that clavicle where this SCM is right in here. I'm going to just pick that up lightly. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a jiggle. Working my way up towards the jaw. Now normally this is really uncomfortable. Um, like I said earlier, she has really good range of motion, so for you it probably doesn't feel extremely bad, but for other people this can feel extremely tight. Switching out my hands, I'm just going to support that occipital ridge. I'm going to come over to the other side of that SCM. Filling with my fingertips, back in that occipital. I'm just going to support the head with the palms of my hand. I'm going to take those fingertips and I'm going to search for that very edge of that ridge. I'm just going to lightly press my fingers there and do a nice little tug. breathe into it. I'm going to come closer to that jaw on the side. Just move those fingers up a little bit closer. The 
closer up to that ear, that jawline. I'm gonna push those fingers out along the side and just trigger with some pressure. And along the ears, we're gonna do what I like to call Spock ears. Just gonna do a nice little circle around the ear, holding pressure above, near the temple and the jaw. Go opposite if you like. We're gonna come back under. Now we're gonna check the spine with our fingertips. We're gonna press in side to side, seeing how tight that muscle is right in here. How her range of motion is. But now it's not on the surface, this is deeper. Using my forearm, I'm just gonna lift up this head a little bit. This is gonna give her some space up in the occipital, actually giving some stretch right into here rather than letting her, her jaw come forward. We're just going to open that space back in there as we're doing this little part of the massage. We're gonna start at the clavicle area internally. And we're just going to press those fingers lightly near the edge of that bone. We're going to rock it side to side as we work our way up to the jaw. And repeat this throughout the whole entire clavicle area. Starting at that clavicle, working your way back up. Does that spot feel kind of tender to you? Okay. <laughs> I know, right? We got you all on the neck. So we have a little adhesion here, and essentially we're doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage as well as we're massaging these internal muscles. That's very natural. She's gonna need to swallow like she just did. We're getting rid of all of that stuff that's stuck up in there, loosening it up. And you would repeat on the opposite side as well. Now this is a really nice way just to address some deeper muscles without tearing into the neck really just um, getting past that surface level and working out gently um, of course getting rid of any blockages from any lymphatic that might be in the way and um, just helping the client relax on a whole nother level rather than just going deep in it if they do have issues a few good strokes on this side. This side's a little bit tighter than the other side. 
I'm gonna support that head. I'm gonna bring it back down. I'm just gonna check that spine again. We're gonna go underneath the shoulder. Placing my hand underneath the shoulder cap. I'm just gonna lightly lift and then I'm gonna slide my hand underneath that shoulder blade. We are going to lift up that scapula and pull it out. So I'm essentially gripping my hand like this and pulling it out. I'm gonna place the other hand underneath there to support this and I'm gonna to pull together. I have that back open now and I'm just going to move my fingers side to side as I work my way up the rib cage. Now this is addressing all those really deep internal muscles that connect right into the spine and especially the neck and especially where you get that nice little hump at. Um, you don't have a hump but some people do. You don't have to use deep pressure. This is enough pressure. She already has her body pressure plus mine. I'm just gonna place that palm right, right up into her upper back. I'm just gonna place it up and just kind of jiggle it just like that. Pulling towards that shoulder cap. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Exhale when you're ready. Just giving her a nice trigger point, probably all the way up into the neck as well. When you feel like you've softened it a bit, when you feel like they've opened up a bit, when you feel like there's not as much tension connecting right into that spine neck area you probably want to move on from this area now there is another technique that you can utilize if it's still not enough just to check and make sure but what we would do is we take the arm we're going to support it we're going to pull it behind them then we're going to come along the side edge here of this connection of the arm into that shoulder. I'm going to hold her up and right in here in this terrace major and minor I'm essentially just going to come back and forth lightly and press in because this is a tender area. You could come up alongside the arm into that shoulder cap if you need to as well but just along is good enough. This will release most of that um, trap and subscap as well. Even if you have numb and tingly fingers, this will be your go to. Let's check her again. Oh, yeah, that feels a lot looser now. And we could pick up her trap and actually separate it. And then of course you would repeat on the other side as well. Now that we have addressed the shoulder, um, the back of the arms, the front clavicles, the pecs, we've come into the occipital. We still haven't fully released that yet. So actually let's move into there. So with some clients, they really struggle to release their occipital, the jaw, and they really push their chins forward. So with them, I find that they're always like this on the table, which is really difficult for a therapist to actually get in and address the muscles. So a simple little trick I like to use is I will use my body actually with the client. I promise I won't drop you. <laughs> I'm gonna come up right behind her head and I'm going to support her head with my shoulder. 
Do you feel comfortable right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to take in a few deep breaths through the nostril and we're going to exhale through the mouth. So you go ahead and practice that. There you go. And I'm going to just support the back of the head right in here. I'm going to go to the occipital ridge and just a little bit above it, I'm going to use a trigger point as I'm supporting her. Perfect. So this time we're going to take a real deep breath in and open that jaw like you're yawning. There we go. And as she does that, you can actually go deeper into those muscles along the spine and actually push into them like you're squeezing. So I'm going to show them. Her spine would be right here and I'd actually be pushing in and squeezing at the same time. So I'm going to come back up into the occipital. I'm going to hook in, hold her up. She's going to open that mouth and exhale. Do you feel the stretch in the back of your neck? Awesome. We're going to do one more right in the middle as I hold her head up. Hold that trigger point. She's going to open. Perfect. We're going to bring that head back down. So we're going to check that spine one more time with those fingers. And now she's open all in here. So moving to the face, we can start at the bottom of the chin. We can grab on top of the chin, on the bottom of the chin, and right at the edge. And just do a few little, um, what would I even call these pulses essentially. And work our way up that jawline with a soft little grip, with a little tug rather than a pulse, I guess. Right into that jaw, do a nice little trigger right in here, very gentle. Coming underneath it, almost like you're placing your finger at the bottom edge, just slightly touch upon that. Coming into the side. You could do a little bit of circular motion upwards, working your way up into that cheekbone, doing some circular motion trigger points as well. Right up the eyebrows, we're going to hold that trigger point. The cheekbone, holding that trigger point. Holding that trigger point. Then you can just slightly brush along the sides, pushing any lactic acid built up in the forehead away. And of course, you don't want to forget the temples. Scalp massage is not just for looks. Scalp massage does an amazing job at actually releasing tension in the face, the neck, and especially the upper back. A lot of times baldness is due to tightness from the neck and shoulders and um, a lack of just release in the scalp. some nice ear massage, loving on the client. The ears are supposed to be like a baby in the womb. When you look at it through reflexology, the way that it's positioned, that's how the baby would be curled up. So we always want to give a nice loving ear massage just to complete any type of body touch we do with somebody. <laughs> 